A lot of people plan to take advantage of the holiday and hit the waves, but it was certainly not a day off for beach safety. Fox 35's Vicki Carr joins us live at Daytona Beach. So Vicki, a lot of people packing into the sand today. So what is beach safety looking for out there right now? Well, hey guys, I'm at Sun Splash Park in Daytona Beach, and I just want to give you guys a look at just how packed it is out here. You can see just so many families out here for this holiday weekend, and I did get a chance to talk to Beach Safety, and they say that some of their big concerns this weekend have been lightning and rip currents. Everybody's in that 4th of July spirit, so you know it's good. Sizzling grills, umbrellas lined up along the sand, Great weather reeling in crowds onto Volusia County's beaches for the holiday. The water's beautiful, it's warm. What a great day, huh? A great day, but some threats beach safety is keeping an eye on today is the heat, lightning, and of course, rip currents. My wife and baby were in the water a little bit ago. They said they were getting crashed by the waves. You know, it's definitely a little rough out there. Deputy Chief Aaron Jenkins says lifeguards are being proactive, watching the waters close. A lot of times the lifeguards are calling you out of the water before you even get in trouble. And you're wondering, well, why is the lifeguard calling me out? The lifeguard sees something and they're trying to prevent it before it becomes an issue. As the lifeguard shortage affects many beaches, Jenkins says they've been able to pull in enough staff to handle the massive crowds. I was looking at the stats for all three days. We were sitting around anywhere from 115 to 120. That's all personnel. Um, and we had close to 70 towers, lifeguards up on the red towers, which is a pretty good number. Um, you know, that puts us right up there, if not a little more than we had last year. Reminding people to swim by lifeguard and stay alert while in the water. It is rough now. There's no doubt about that. It is rough, but if you go out just a certain amount, it's perfect. Now, I do want to mention that a man was bitten by a shark this weekend. Coming up at 6, we'll have more details about that incident. I'm live in Volusia County, Vicki Carr, Fox 35 News.